to do was never be late, always be on time. And I also know all of our uh, crew's names, first names, and last names. So, I'm your moderator, Peter Svensson. Uh, I'm the head of programming, which means I'm doing all these panels and going crazy in the process. But I get to hang out with amazing people and introduce all amazing people like you and introduce some panels like amazing talent. Oh my god, let me. We're waiting. It's like a wait. I mean, at this 
point, we've got a bunch of people here. Let's give a big round of applause to the Ivy <laughs> you don't know. Are we back on set again? I mean, all right. So, <laughs> so let's just take this. Mike, can someone find Aaron Cahill, please? We need to shoot. <laughs> Aaron Cahill. Well, however, I think let's get let's get started over here. Uh, these guys need no introduction, but we're going to have them give you one anyway. Oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Hi. No, I'm um, Michael Copon, uh, Blue Time Force Ranger, uh, aka Lucas Kendall. And I'm Katira, I'm in love with Blue Ranger. <laughs> and my evil papa is right there. And he's awesome. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't need the introduction, I'm just, you know, hey there. <laughs> Yeah, hi, I'm, uh, well, where am I? Vernon Wells! Oh, yeah, I'm Mad Max, yes. Uh, I'm Rancid, and, uh, what can I say? There's got to be one handsome devil in every show. <laughs> So I was born back in the county. <laughs> Jason Bullitt, uh, uh, Ranger. Like, all right. uh, so, what's 
Oh, 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 so, let's introduce our sets. Hi, my name is Brie Ambrose, and I played Circuit the Owl. Brie Next question while we're going over here was, uh, who can remember a horrible prank played by someone who wasn't Dan on you? Okay, that that that. Yeah, well, all right then. There were a lot of pranks. Yeah, yeah there, there were just too many. Yeah. I always tell the one where. Um, like Jason had this idea, like we, we would like pretty much take off our pants to our body. We had our boxer shorts, but we came around the set like in our boxer shorts, like posing the superhero stance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have ADD. I'm like so excited about doing this thing with Erin. I'm like trying to focus on the questions, but I'm like, when is she coming? <laughs> Everybody just know they're, they're freeze. Everybody know they're freeze. doing the mannequin freeze when she comes in. Everybody wake up out of it. Somebody slap me and then we're all awake. No, we constantly did a lot of pranks together. We were always, our, our, our cast always got along very well, so we were, we were constantly, um, I don't know, there's a lot of things we can't say that we did, but uh, <laughs> we have, we're trying to think of like, it's like telling a joke that's dirty in front of kids. One, one prank that we can talk about. Yeah, this is what the kind of stuff. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff. What we're doing right now is kind of like what we did on set every day. This is a cleaner version. Of <laughs> and uh, next, what we're doing right now, uh, who here is uh, actually about the comics now that has read what Time Force appeared in the in the Boom comics? Who's oh, who, 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 who has read that? Yeah, because because uh, yeah, currently. Oh, on this panel are all well, actually one person on this panel is still alive in the comics currently. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one? Dan. <laughs> uh, we just had one more come in. Neil Cavill oh. is Gluto.
Okay, they're really in a dungeon. King This chair. We're gonna have everyone do like a mannequin freeze pose, Aaron. Didn't work out because they were just too excited. Thank you for playing, Aaron. Sorry, dude. At least now I can focus on what's actually going on. Okay, uh, Jason. Yes. Uh, so how did you, because um, in the credits I noticed that you also played Alex. How did you manage to uh, play as Alex and uh, Wes during the same episode where you guys interacted with each other? How did I manage to do it? Yeah. I'm just a really, really good actor. <laughs> okay. no, you know what, it was a lot of fun doing it because what they would do is um, they, would, they would spray paint my hair or they would make my hair jet black and we'd slick it back. We'd film an entire scene. Um, with Alex, and then they would lock the set, and then they'd go and they'd, I had to wash it out, redo makeup, and then they would blonde my hair, and I'd come back and then do the opposite side as Wes. So it was a very long process, but uh, it was cool. It was a lot of fun. It was a good challenge, and uh, and um, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun doing that. Um, you guys, what he's saying is that we spent a lot of time waiting for it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, we were used to it. We waited for you. <laughs> I was just at the craft service table. <laughs> okay, so I have um, a couple of questions. One for Jason. What was it? Um, what was it like when, like, you got the role as Wes, and then after Time Force, you went on to play Leon in Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually have Resident <laughs> Evil Six, and I didn't even realize this until like a long time ago or something. Mm -hmm. But it's like, oh, that's Wes. <laughs> so what was that? Like? You know, it was really cool. The, 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 the Leanne thing was a lot of fun. Matthew Mercer does the voice for, for Leanne Kennedy, so he's an um, extremely talented voice actor that handles that. I got that audition he's through Ruben. Uh, <laughs> through, I got that connection through, um, through Ruben Langdon, who was on Power Rangers, and I auditioned for it, um, and it was fun. From audition to end was almost two years with Resident Evil, or Resident Evil 6. So very, very, uh, very, very specific about their process, and it was a lot of fun to be a part of it. Um, so my second question for everyone is, uh, what, what was in Time Force? What, did, what, uh, what was your favorite line from your guys' character? Ready. <laughs> Quantum power. <laughs> I have one. Rangers, there's a mutant down by the power plant. <laughs> I wish I could live a thousand years so we could be together again. Oh. That's, the one, that's the one everybody likes, right? Yeah. Daddy will fix it. <laughs> My time up. The dearest dream date. Oh, 
but not just us, but we cry. I mean, I don't want to speak for you guys, but Dan, maybe doesn't, not Dan. Dan doesn't cry. But not Dan. But the rest of us cried for like weeks. We, Only we, when heavy things fall on me. <laughs> we, yeah, we really, really cried for weeks to say goodbye to each other, but also the story and, and the characters, and it was really sad. And emotional, too. Yeah. Vernon teared up. Don't, he's a big softie. Yeah, right, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say it's an honor for, uh, for you all to be here. Uh, this question is for Jen. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about what you've been given a prominent role in the Shadow and Rhythm event? Do you guys all know what Shattered Grid is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's like 99% yes. So for you, who doesn't know? Um, it's the 25th anniversary comics of the, of the time, of the time force, my god. Of the, of, the, of the Power Ranger, you know, world. And I got, I just am so lucky that Kyle Higgins took the liking to my character in that, um, that you guys are such great fans, that you guys really propped Jen up to be one of the leaders of the Shattered Grid series. I am over the moon about it. You guys know we're doing a reading at six. Shameless plug. Come, come. Thank, thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. Okay. Hello. First of all, I just want to tell Kevin how much he means to me as a Power Rangers fan. Like, he, like, Trip was the very reason I got back to Power Rangers after not watching it for so long. And, like, Trip is such an underappreciated character, you guys. I just want to say 
thank you all. Um, you make a huge impact on my life. I can you know, show this run and I was in college. Uh, I had very depression. And I thought that I could make it and just see you guys uh, change the future in your in the show. Yeah, especially when I hear my favorite Red Ranger. And I mean, all of you, especially Aaron, uh, every, every in the cast, even you too. I have a lot of work, so I'll talk about how I have it. Sorry. Yeah, you got to make sure to say everyone now. When you one out, you can't, can't leave us all out. <laughs> hey, you should have seen me when I, uh, when I talk to her. I'm going to read a comment on because I work there. And any time you want to go, I have to walk up. But then again, just check it out. Thank you all. And I'll see you this one, all, right? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you.
or what he did was because of his understanding of humanity and the fact that when he was wrong, he admitted it. When he was right, he wanted to be made sure he was right and he was prepared to help no matter what the cost. I mean, I even let the blue fink over here date my daughter. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it's, it's that whole thing of, I think we forget sometimes that no matter what we are personally, there's a big world outside that we need to live in and we should always remember that we have to be a part of it. And I think that's what Rancic was. That was such a deep thing like that. I'm not following Vernon anymore. <laughs>
I say it's awesome that your eye expressions match your hat. That's really good. <laughs> His eyes are up there. <laughs> I think that's because we had so much fun two years ago that it's kind of a done deal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to ask, um, a lot of people consider Time Force to be one of, if not the best season of Power Rangers. And I, and, I, and I read this online, I don't know how true it is, but I think we are the only Emmy-nominated season other than the original uh, for Power Rangers. Optimus Prime. 
was kind of cool. And I did, I swear. And these days you'll hear me on Netflix on a show called Voltron. Yeah! Season they'd like to be in if it wasn't uh, MMPR, and most of them said Time Force. That's right. All right, I have a long question, but I have to keep it short. So, uh, well, uh, for Red Ranger over here, um, since you're going to be in Ninja Steel, how's it feel like to come back for the second time, Amber? For the anniversary, the second time. Yeah. You know, it, we had a lot of fun. They, they really took their time with this, with this um, 25th anniversary, so you guys will really enjoy it. There's a lot of questions they can answer. Um, and I think that's what they want to accomplish, is the ability to go in there and uh, make something special. And hopefully by the time it's all done, they will. So I was, I was excited now to be a part of it, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what you guys think. Time Force crossover with any show, what would you pick? Any show. I Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any show. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'd say Deadpool. I mean, I'd love to have us all do Deadpool language and all that stuff. That'd be awesome. <laughs> No, I think we should cross over with Walking Dead.
And, and what are you going to be performing for us today? <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for Lucas is part of the credit exchange into it. Sorry, it's going to be a fan. You by Drake's in. Well, what would you do if Lucas broke up with Madeira? Oh. <laughs> uh, let me put it this way. <laughs> there are certain parts of his body that I'm sure he needs to use someday. <laughs> If he breaks my little girl's heart, oh, it's gonna be fun. Well, good thing I'm from the future, because then I'll just take circuits. <laughs> You're talking about a stump, right? Yeah, a stump. A stump. A stump. A stump. Yes, you always remember them in the pink rangers suit or the yellow rangers suit. Hi, uh, my name is Greg, I'm from Dallas. Uh, my question is for Lucas Madeira and Wes Morgan, the first one. Uh, what ever happened to y'all two? Are y'all married now, probably? <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a fuchsia ranger. And then, uh, <laughs> and then um, yeah, I went on, we live on a planet. Our very own planet. It's just us, it's kind of like the garden of these. With dazzles. With dazzles and sparkling. We eat cotton candy, pink cotton candy every day. All the time. It's <laughs> perfect. And then, uh, then what's the gen? Is Sky your son? Oh. Oh. We all get all serious, like there's some joke. Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a question they didn't. I mean, that that was um, a question they didn't really answer on that. But Jackie, would you? I think it was definitely supposed to be because that was the red time force. But they. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it, it, some things didn't match up, but the answer it was supposed to be yes. Okay, Oh, guys, my name is So, i just like to say before the question. Or that I found out around I lost my mind. You are a man I want to be like because you're like just amazing and with a hint of ass and like that is perfect. I want to be a man like Aaron as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so two quick questions. One for Jason. With your main character, why didn't you like talk your dad to like get some money and try to get him to a nicer place instead of the talk happen? And for everyone, with the advent of 3D printed technology, do you think in the near future there will be like an unofficial or maybe like a new kind of series where you guys will be from in the future, like in a series or in a game where you can help out new rangers? and give them new morphers and everything from over the years. Yeah. I think that there's a definite avenue to do something like that. 
that's the beauty of our season with the time travel that there, there can be um, some way having this incorporated in future stuff for sure. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's not funny. I would watch it. Circuit's pregnant. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, right? So you gotta come by for the photo op thing, but on a serious note, um, our good friend Robert Axelrod had surgery. Um, I don't know if anybody, but I can relate with him with the spine and stuff going on. He is um, right now a paraplegic. And he's working to get his his stuff back and hopefully walk again and do all that stuff. Um, he played Board Z. He's like the original guy. So if you guys see these around, please sign them. Whatever pen, don't care, just something nice and, and positive. I really appreciate it. And any donation you guys can give, if you had something over to say what it is, we will make sure he gets it. Thank you guys. We love you guys so much.
forget we have one more thing to do. <laughs> Ranching! Burn!